Hey everyone, welcome to the Delivery Driver Pit Stop. My name is Michael. I'm your healthy go ghost. Jesus, I'm your healthy host. I'm going to be a ghost if I'm not healthy. I'm your healthy host, getting healthier every day. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I basically took the weekend off to celebrate me getting another year older. Uh, had lots of cake and uh, grabbed a movie and went bowling today. Uh, just wanted to take a break and uh, enjoy the the finer things in life. Anyways, uh, I wanted to do a video after the the last video I did was about the DoorDash driver that uh, was accused of eating this person's food from Dickie's Barbecue in uh, Pennsylvania, I believe it was. And uh, I got a lot of pushback and a lot of trolling from it, which absolutely surprised me. Uh, Pete from Paid to Drive got a lot of pushback, and he did a follow-up video on it because he was surprised too. So this is my follow-up video, but this is this video I'm gonna I'm gonna rant a little bit, and I'm gonna take some of these people that are not necessarily trolls, but these people to task that called me out saying, uh, you know, I was a DoorDash hack or uh, a customer's lying, the customer always lies, you know. That is wrong, okay? I don't, anybody watched my videos in the past, I lambase Grubhub, I lambase DoorDash, Uber, Uber Eats, I, I give a lambasting to everybody that deserves it. And if ever, anybody deserves a pat on the back, I give them a pat on the back as well. But this time I'm gonna lambaste, I'm gonna take a lot of these people to task that called me out saying that, you know, this, Customer was clearly lying. He just wanted something for free. And how dare you accuse this DoorDash driver was hard enough. You know what? Blow it out your backside. That's what I got to say for that. Um, you know what? I, it's ridiculous. And the reason why it's ridiculous, and I'm going to share something with you in the story that seems to be, uh, it was conveniently ignored. It was conveniently ignored. Or simply, the video wasn't watched, or the text, or the, the story wasn't read properly. Uh, you read it, you just saw the title, automatically assumed the customer is lying. You know, there's uh, the devil in the details here. And I'm going to show you why. This is a this is basically, uh, you know, the elephant in the room that gives 100% credence to this customer and the customer not lying, the customer not making this up, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. It's one specific sentence or two sentences in the story that has just been conveniently ignored and it drives me batshit crazy that people conveniently ignore this line to twist it as, you know, you know, we're in the society of the victim, uh, you know, play the victim society, you know what? grow a pair. People that act like victims grow a pair. Okay. And let me tell you, like I said, I'm not going to, I'm going to rub a lot of people the wrong way on this video. I'm, I don't care. This is my view. This is my channel. And I'm going to tell you this, you know what people, you know what? And I, you know what? There may be a slim possibility that this customer lied just to get free publicity and free food. I mean, there's a lot easier ways uh, to get free publicity and free food than, you know, lying about a DoorDash driver and then reporting it to the news or the news picking up the story. Okay? A lot of easier ways. So, the line I want to bring up, like I said, that people conveniently ignored or overlooked or tried to uh, pretend it wasn't in the story to spin it to make them, that you know, the DoorDash whatever, and the line is, and if you read it and you listen very close, the news organization clearly states they interviewed the employee who made this particular meal that declined to go on camera due to, you know, uh, privacy issues and the company, you know, company policy not to go on camera in case anything happens. But the employee said, off camera, and listen, here's the key, guys. Listen to this very closely because I'm shocked so many people miss this. The employee, who
who prepared this meal, this employee who prepared this meal, you ready? Drum roll, said they've had problems with this same DoorDash driver doing this previously. Okay, there it is. Elephant in, the elephant in the room. Uh, uh, smoking gun. How can people... Why would this employee off camera... So this employee didn't want to... You know, uh, be, you know, didn't want any publicity. But he gave comments off camera to the news organization saying they've had problems with this, um, this DoorDash driver in the past doing this. Hello? How can that... How can you guys say these people are defending, oh my God, it's the restaurant, oh my God, uh, you know, uh, quit bagging on the DoorDash driver. I, I'm a DoorDash driver. I'm a Grubhub driver, okay? I'm going to call a spade a spade. If this driver did this, which I believe, my opinion, this driver did, I believe 100% the customer is not lying. This driver not only needs to be removed from the platform, which they should have been previously, since it's already been shown by statements from employees of Dickies that this driver had issues in the past, this driver needs to be prosecuted as well. Okay? Obviously, this driver either has a, a, an axe to grind, uh, uh, mental issues, or just upset because they weren't happy with their life and the amount of money they were getting for delivery. I think it's all three, personally. All three. And this driver needs to be terminated, contract contract terminated, and needs to be brought up in a court of law. Needs to be prosecuted. Because it's disgusting. This driver is doing this. If they had infectious diseases of any kind and they pass it on to that, uh, that uh, customer... Now who's liable? Not only the driver is liable, DoorDash is now liable. And, uh, you know, well, here's the argument, too, that uh, I'm going to take the side more of the restaurant, okay? As I previously mentioned, um, my wife is a general manager, general manager of a uh, national chain of restaurants, and she has DoorDash drivers come in. And she tells me a story about these DoorDash drivers. Over, I kid you not, over 50%, over half the DoorDash drivers that come in, she has to take time out of her schedule and go talk to them because they were rude to the to-go employees. Okay? And let me tell you how it works. What? Okay, this restaurant, uh, with DoorDash, anybody's a DoorDash driver, there's a hot spot at this restaurant where the restaurant's located in a bunch of, and it's in a mall complex, outside mall complex. And this restaurant is, as there's a hot spot in this parking lot. So the DoorDash drivers, anybody in the area will go park in this mall because DoorDash tells you, you know, you go park in this area here so you can get most calls. So they go park there. And as soon as that order comes in for the restaurant, within a minute or two, that DoorDash driver is in the restaurant saying, where's my order? Where's my order? Con they, I mean, she told me a couple stories I could not believe where this DoorDash driver came in. How long is it going to take? This And so she has to come out, take her time, come out, and set the store driver, DoorDash driver straight saying, sir or ma'am, the order was placed at 7.01. It says it will be guaranteed. It will be ready by 7.25. It is 7.05 right now. Okay, we received it four minutes ago. So if you have an issue, you got 20 more minutes, call DoorDash if you have an issue with it. Okay? And here's the big rub why I'm sticking up for Dickie's restaurant, okay, or Dickie's barbecue. Because in order for her, order for my wife to report these DoorDash drivers, okay, that requires her to call DoorDash for the restaurants, you know, they have a special number to call DoorDash. And she has to be on hold 25 or 30 minutes. She's running a multi-million dollar restaurant. She does not have time to wait 25 or 30 minutes to sit on hold to complain about a DoorDash driver. It's DoorDash's fault. It's not the restaurant's fault. It's not the customer's fault. It's DoorDash's fault for not terminating this driver who taste tested food that has a previous record, previous history that this restaurant knows about this driver doing this previously. 
for not terminating him. And I don't blame Dickies for not wanting to get on the phone for 25 or 30 minutes just to complain about a driver that's being obnoxious. Where, like I've mentioned, at least half the drivers come into my wife's restaurant from DoorDash are obnoxious, are rude, and it requires her to come out and take care, close the deal because they are being rude to her, my wife's employees. Okay? So... These, you know, all you, the people out there calling me to task are saying, you know, it's uh, don't you're indicting DoorDash drivers for not having proof. Read the story, watch the story, pay attention to the details in the story. The employee said they've had problems in the past with this driver doing a similar thing. Hello. Oof. Anyway. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. I appreciate you tuning in for my rant. My, oh, wow, 11 minute rant so far. Uh, I would appreciate one of these. Maybe, uh, you know, and if you do one of these, you know what you can do with yourself. Uh, I appreciate a subscription to my channel and make sure you ring the doorbell if you have not so you can get notifications. Sorry. I know I've been complaining to everybody. I get a lot of complaints about my lisp that I didn't know I had. Anyway, uh, Make sure uh, uh, you, uh, no tip, no trip. If you want one of those snazzy no tri tip, no trip shirts, uh, you want to support my uh, channel, my YouTube channel, the links are in the description below. I get about 79 cents a t-shirt, so I'm not making a killing, but it would be appreciated. Anyway, make sure you follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. Anyway, we will see you next time on the delivery driver. Oh! And I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes out there. It was very kind. I totally forgot I had my birthday on Facebook. And some of the people that on Facebook uh, were going to narc me off and letting everybody know I had my birthday. <laughs> so I'm, I'm one. I don't like to uh, announce my birthday. I don't like to promote my birthday. Or, uh, just I'm not that type of person. I don't. But since it's out there. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Next year will be the big 5-0. Uh, I don't usually drink, but maybe next year I'll get drunk as a skunk and come on here like drunk as a skunk and eh, who knows. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this 12-minute, oh wow, it's going to be 13-minute pit stop. We will see you next time, everybody, on the Delivery Drive Pit Stop. Bye-bye, all. Take care.